Excellent. The exercise provides a distraction for Lynn Cooper. She's had chronic pain for 20 years after she tried to keep a safe from crushing her feet at work. It caused me to have severe pain, pins and needles, and cramping that goes down both legs to this day. Now new research is showing it may be in the genes. Researchers at SickKids have discovered that the way a pain receptor known as P2X7 works may influence how much pain we feel. Green dye goes through the pores when they open. Those are mouse P2X7 cells. The more dye the membrane of the cell allows in, the more pain the mouse will feel. The less dye allowed in, the lower the level of pain sensitivity. That's exactly what we found in people, that individuals with the variants of P2X7 receptors that have lots of functions, so they allow lots of molecules through the big pores, uh, they have more pain, and individuals with less pore function have less pain. Researchers here have figured out how to block those large pores in mice and kill the pain without destroying the cell. Evidence has shown any pain that lasts more than a few minutes leaves a mark on the nervous system, and that mark can make any future pain feel more painful. This is a representation of the protein kinase M zeta, which may be responsible for holding on to that memory. When scientists induced pain in animal models, the levels of this protein went up in the central nervous system. This is the first protein that we've been able to show uh, that is involved in the maintenance of this, of this memory trace, and therefore it can have very long-lasting effects. And so this is why we think it's really critically important for uh, the storage of these memory traces. McGill researchers have gone a step further and have found a way to erase those pain memories with a drug in mice. They hope to be able to do the same in humans. Beatrice Politi, Global News.